Hey guys, this is Starry from Starry Sky Gaming, and welcome to this Hard Light DPS Minigun Loadout and Weapon Mastery Build video. Now this video is going to be showing you the PowerPoints, the loadout, the Weapon Mastery Build, and then the rotation which I use for Weapon Masteries with Minigun um, clipping. Okay, so let's get started, and let's go straight to the Assault Tree. So in the Assault Tree, I have PowerPoints in Light Claws, Minigun, Ram, Chompers, Whip Thrash, Fan, Snap Trap, Strafe and run. And the support tree, power points in boxing, hand clap, light barrier. In the iconic, we tactical genius, weapons expert, robot sidekick, and since I had a power point left over, I just put in super strength just to have some fun with like picking up cars. But please feel free to put it in like something like HP, defense, dominance if you wish, or some extra power. That is completely up to you. Okay, so now to the loadout. So from left to right is Chompers, this is our primary uh, power interaction skill. It does damage, uh, damage over time and it dazes everything. Light Barrier is our uh, self shield, it deals damage when it's hit, plus also it can be used say as like a breakout, because when you're stunned, knocked down, uh, you can, it's usable when controlled, so just think it as another way of breaking out from all those CC effects. Snap Trap, this is part of our uh, clipping rotation. Minigun, this is our uh, combo clipping uh, starting skill. Rebel Sidekick, just think of this as a permanent uh, dot, constantly attacking stuff, doing damage for you. Now the only power this requires is to when it's summoned. Now straight and Run, this is just our supercharge, it just does a lot of damage. Okay, so, two of the skill points. Now Super Speed, I've only put one speed sorry, one skill point in the speed force. I haven't bothered with the rest because I'm never out of power. Controllers have so much power now thanks to weapon masteries that I've just not needed the skill points in breakout mastery. And the resistances, let's face it, in T6, with all the resistances that people have, you constantly get stunned, knocked out. So for me, now for me, I have forgone resistances because I use a breakout uh, trinket, which gives me like 30% resistance. Okay, so to the build. Now, I am using the one-handed mastery because I find it's really good and quick, especially since the hard light is a fast uh, combo-based power, and uh, you can just do a lot with it. Okay, so we need to set up our masteries for one-handed, dual wield, and uh, hand blasters, since I'm going to be using melee and range combos, it depends on what I need to do during an alert or raid. <clears throat> So to set up our one-handed mastery, we need to include these attacks and spend a total of 20 skill points. So simply five down the middle, get your crit and eights, and I went even in restoration and dominance. This is for because I use light barrier, and with the tactical mod regenerative shielding, it gives me a, a heal every time it's used. So I'm starting to build up some resist, so restoration, which will add strength to my shield as well, but also increase the heal I get, and dominance because this will add strength to the shield and because it will give me some CC ability over ads, bosses in solo and duo content. This won't affect the alert or any T6 rates because you won't have enough dominance to even remotely move them. Okay, so that would be my one-handed mastery setup. So there we go to dual wield. Same again, include these attacks, and then spend 20 skill points, so four down the middle, DPS and eights, got my dominance, Got my defense because there was no restoration, that's just critical healer chance. And then I put one in HP, which allowed me to unlock the dual wield. So then hand blasters, same again, include these attacks, spend 20 skill points, so four down the middle, two on the left, uh, critical and eights, got my dominance, got two in restoration, and then allowed me to unlock the hand blaster mastery. So then I go back to one handed. Put skill points in Dual Flurry Mastery and Solar Flame because these are the ones I use for uh, melee and for range. So then after that, since we set up our masteries, we want to go and get all of our criticals. So this will involve going through all the trees and getting all of our critical attack chance and all of our critical attack damage. So literally, go through the trees, get all of our critical attack chance. Now prioritize the critical attack chance before you get the critical attack damage. The most important uh, stat of them all is our critical attack chance. The more chance we have, the more we can crit. So as you can see, go for the trees, get all our criticals. Done hand blasters already, done dual wield already. So see, continuing to go down the middle, get all our criticals. And once you've done that, finish getting all your criticals. 
you go to your one-handed dual wield and hand blasters and you go down to the very bottom and you get all your plus 25 and 8s so plus 25 in the one-handed dual wield and hand blasters now this is our mastery setup, our combo mastery setup, our criticals and then the big juicy innates. Then after that what we want to do is we want to prioritize the precision in the second row at the bottom of the skill trees. Now the reason why we do this for is um, hard light is a precision based power and most of your damage will come from weapon masteries and your construct combos. So this is why we're prioritizing the precision on the second row. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones I built into. I think one was bow. So Bo has precision on the second row, so I maxed out. Now thanks to the criticals, I don't actually have to spec into them since I've already gone into all the trees already. So precision on the second row, I've got my restoration, summon defense, which then unlocked the innates of the bomb. Now I still need to spend 20 skill points, but I don't need to spend 20 skill points and include any attacks because I'm not unlocking the mastery. I only need to spend a total of 20 skill points to unlock the innates at the bottom. So I've got my precision, I've got my resto, I've got my defense, which then unlocked the N8 at the bottom, so I've got the 25 ones there. I think dual pistols was the next one. So then I got my precision there, got my dominance, got the defense, which uh, that was enough spent to unlock the item precision at the bottom. And I think I started working it into one more after that. Yeah, I started working into dual, I mean, rifle. So I got my precision, and I'm starting to work on the dominance and restoration and then I ran out of skill points. But after when I've done that, I'll get those two. If I need to spend any more, which I doubt I will do, I'd probably go into the, the HP, and then I would unlock the mighty position after that. And then the very fa last and uh, Weapon Mastery tree, which has precision as a second row, will be your staff. So precision on the second row of staff. Now once you've done all of these through your uh, web skill trees for the precision, that be all your precision done. Then you can start going into trees like, say, like brawling, martial arts, shield, two-handed, which have like all of the might. But you would have prioritized all of the proper stuff in the correct row. So that would be a masteries, set up your uh, combos for the weapon masteries, your criticals, then your big juicy innates in those three mastery trees which you already set up, and then you go into the, the or then you go into the trees which have the precision on second row and start building into them to get the innates at the bottom. Okay, so that's how I've done the skill points, that's the loadout, all that kind of stuff. Now we're going to get to the uh, rotation of it all. So first thing first, pop our sidekick for our permanent DOT. Uh, now for this, um, it depends on what you want to run for thing, but obviously I'm going to be running my stat increase trinkets, and I'm also using a Dazen Device Expert. This is for clipping and also for uh, power interaction, and just free damage, because uh, Dazen Device can, well, my decent device expert can hit up to anything up to 1000 in an AOE area around me. So that's free damage and free power interaction. Okay, so first of all, is I'm gonna do the combo. I'll probably go through it a couple of times and then I will break it down and show you bit by bit. So let's do the combo a few times and, let's break, and I'll break it down afterwards. I think what they need to do is sparring target, so it's once you place it, they should permanently stay still, not move around. So anyway, that's the combo on Warlord's Glory, basically, you know, with, um, without me breaking it down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a break it down bit by bit so you guys can learn to use it. So first things first is the Weapon Mastery. It's literally a two tap, and then a hold melee, and another hold melee. A spin job into dual flurry. Nothing difficult, but simple. So then after when we've done the spin chop into dual flurry, we're simply going to press minigun from our loadout, so literally. So two tap hold hold, and then minigun. Now we're not going to let the whole animation of minigun finish because we want to clip it. And literally what we mean by clip it is, is minigun has ability to go into snap trap or whip thrash. And since we want to be using whip thrash, we're literally going to be tapping melee. So literally from our loadout, uh, after we've pressed minigun, we're literally just going to be tapping melee to get whip thrash. As you can see, it clips it pretty quick, and we only and we get two might ticks from the minigun itself. So literally, so literally, it's weapon mastery, minigun, and then tap melee for whip fresh. Now, as soon as you've pressed minigun from your loadout, you want to immediately 
keep pressing uh, melee to get the whip fresh as quick as possible. That's number four, so it would be two tap hold for melee, minigun. So two tap hold hold for weapon mastery, minigun, and then completely tap to get the whip fresh. Now what we want to do after we've uh, tapped melee and got whip fresh is we want to clip it with snap trap from our loadout. So what I what I do is I'll show you um, what I mean, but I'll let a little bit of the animation of whip fresh happen. So whip mastery, minigun, whip fresh, and then we want to use snap trap to clip it. But what we want to do is once you get used to it, is you actually want to clip uh, whip fresh as soon as it happens, so you don't get any of the animation, but you still get the damage, which will look like this. Not like that. As you see, there was no whip fresh animation, but there was still the precision based hits. Okay, so after that, it's, we're going to do our weapon mastery, and then it's going to be minigun, tap a melee to get whip fresh, then we press snap trap from our loadout to clip it, and then after that part, we want to keep tapping range to get a fan, which will look like this. So, weapon masteries, minigun, bit fresh, clip the snap trap, tap a range into fan. And once again, weapon masteries, minigun, tap melee, clip the snap trap, tap and range into fan. Okay, so then after that part, what we want to do is once we've done our weapon masteries and our primary combo, so we want to set up the uh, chompers, power interaction, and obviously dots again. So after we've uh, tapped range to get fan, we want to immediately press chompers to set up the damage and dots. Now you can either clip it with a consumable like I do, or you can just use it as normal. So literally it would be gay, so it would be weapon masteries, minigun, tap melee for whip flash, clip to snap trap, tap range, and then chompers. Nice and simple. So literally after when you've done fan, so literally you've done snap trap into fan, and then you press chompers. And it would do is instant damage, and it's dot. And that's pretty much what it's going to look like if you're using a consumable. It's actually fan, chompers, consumable. And that's all to is it, guys. Let me know how you get on with this loadout. Let me know what you think, what you think of the build, um, how well you've done with it, damage output. As you've seen, I've used this in uh, duos and in the T6 alert. It does a lot of good damage. Um, it's fun as well, because I know a lot of people will have had uh, issues with hard light because it's not as fun as it used to be. It's not clippable. This way, it just brings back some of the fun to hard light. It's still not the best DPS power at the moment, but still it's a fun power, and I enjoy hard light quite a bit. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this, and until next time, I'll see you then.